Anthony has simmered a pickling liquor of salt, pepper, coriander, sugar and vinegar and added it to cucumber to go with his lamb dish. Tristan has water bathed his sabayon mixture and will now whip it up. Tom's custards are in the oven and he's due to plate up shortly. How's it going, Tom? Three minutes away from custard being just set. You're confident then? I'm happier now they're beginning to set up. I've got... You've got three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> Running a little bit behind schedule at the minute. Um, my custards are in the oven. They're looking like they're setting, but it is the most, it's the most important part of this dish because it's the, it's the blanket layer that separates it from being oxtail, seen as wintry, to bringing it, dragging it straight into spring. So if they haven't worked, I'm in a whole load of trouble. So. But after an anxious few minutes, Tom decides that the custard has finally set. So he can now deep fry his battered bone marrow. Once the little balls are crispy, they sit on top of the custard with some sliced raw radish and land press leaves. Just in time, huh? Harry moment there, Tom. It was a little scary. Let's go see what it tastes like. Brilliant. And you're happy with the season of that dish? I think it could do with some mould and salt. Some rock salt on the top. Did it taste of bone marrow? I'm, I'm kind of fishing for it, to be honest. I can't it's taste it. And the custard is just cooked, just on that nice wobble. The custard is too cooked on the outside and raw in the middle. The oxtail, are you happy with that? I'm very happy with the oxtail. You, you've still got that quite hoppy flavour from the beer coming through. You can taste horseradish. There's lots of different layers coming through on it. He, he's cooked it in ale. I can't mm. taste that. No, I think the ale is lost. You got delayed there by a few minutes. Yeah. Was that purely just from... It's purely just... The, these can be cooked. You, you can have 100 of these. For me, 100 people, that for a bunch of bananas. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> All the flavours are there that I wanted, the richness, the warmth, the earthy flavours. Yeah, it's come out as I wanted it to. Jason will tell the chefs what he thinks when he's tasted all three dishes. It's Tristan's turn now, and while he deep fries his chips for the last time, he takes a couple of thin slices of ham, chops them up and shallow fries them. The goose egg shells are filled with sabayon using a gas gun and then topped with the crispy ham. A small glass of ale completes the dish. There we are. Wow. Ham, egg and chips. That. The ultimate boss, Matt. Beautiful. Still a boss. <laughs> <it's a> start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm lost already. Was Jason only joking? Is the dish really suitable as a starter? How, how would you advise people to eat this? You know, what, what's a, what's a, for the me to... and dip it into the egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and in the good. ham as well. Feels bitty. Feels snacky. Jason touched on it. Bar snacky. So the chips, Tristan, you know, I've, I've sort of back of the kitchen there watching you dipping them in and out and then in the fryer and all sorts of stuff it's into cold love. water. What, is that really the texture you want? Is that why you've done that? And they're, they're fluffy, they're juicy. And also, another reason is to get the flavour of the goose fat into them. And then the egg, the sabillon stank a little bit. Would you change mm. that at all? Or? I changed it. Well, that was my fault. I panicked a bit and didn't put enough in. Yeah. It looks like it's come out of a gun. Has it come out of a gun? Yeah. Oh, no, really. I think going on to the ham. Oh, we did is rub a bit of local salt into it mm -hmm. and hung it at Poles and Lacey. Maybe a different version of this is a main course. Is this a dish you're going to be happy serving to Prince Charles and to all the farmers? I would be the proudest man on earth. And then see royalty tucking into ham, egg and chips. <laughs> and you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pleased with it, and I think, personally, my dish deserves 10. Of course I do. <laughs>